egg spot. This video will show you how to remove the heat sink on an Insperian 15, 35, 21, 55, 21. Click on the link in the description below to purchase this cooling fan. Partspeople.com offers 5% off to do-it-yourselfers with this coupon code. Turn the laptop over. Slide the latches over to unlock the battery. Lift the battery out of the laptop. Loosen the screws. Remove the access door. Remove the screws at the bottom of the base. Remove the screws under the battery and the access door. Turn the laptop over and open it up. Using a flathead screwdriver, carefully push the keyboard locking tabs in to loosen the keyboard. Carefully turn the keyboard over and unplug the keyboard cable. Unplug the palm rest cables. Remove the 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Remove the 2mm by 3mm screws. Carefully lift the palm rest off of the base. Unplug the cable. Unplug the LCD cable. Unplug the speaker cable. Unplug the cable. Remove the screw. Remove the motherboard. Loosen the heatsink screws. Remove and clean the heatsink. If you need to find the part, check out the link in the video description and let's get started with the installation. Apply thermal compound. Replace the heatsink. Tighten the screws in the order listed on the heatsink. Replace the motherboard. Replace the screw. Plug in the cable. Plug in the speaker cable. Reroute and plug in the LCD cable. Plug in the cable. Place the palm rest onto the base. Replace the 2mm by 3mm screws. Replace the 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Plug in the palm rest cables. Plug in the keyboard cable. Place the keyboard into the laptop and press the top down to lock it into place. Turn the laptop over.
place the screws at the bottom of the base. Replace the screws underneath the battery and access door. Replace the access door and tighten the screws. Place the battery into the laptop and press down to lock it into place. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out PartsPeople.com where we have hundreds of tutorials and hundreds of thousands of parts. Thank you for using PartsPeople for your video tutorials.